Welcome, my name is Lucas and this is Vartus Farns. And what piece of equipment I have for, to you, for you today is uh, NVR, 4G NVR. Uh, like you see here from, at the front, it, it doesn't really look that much difference, different than, um, than the regular NVR. But when you look at the back of the recorder, there is, oh, sorry, here you go. Um, few more ports uh, at the back. I mean, you have the plug and play uh, PoE switch. Uh, in this case, we had a four port PoE switch. You can get eight and 16 PoE ports as well. You have the ethernet port, you have a USB VGA HDMI, just like a regular, regular K series um, NVR. Uh, an extra port, uh, I mean, these ones here, it's the SIM uh, card slot and the port for the antenna. Uh, the recorder, like this one is only four channel, like you see here. Um, the recorder itself comes with the antenna on a three meter lead. So here you go, uh, with a magnetic stand so you can put anywhere on a metal frame or so. Um, the recorder itself, the beauty of that recorder is it's a 4G. So you can have your SIM card plugged in and what I use myself, I tested two different SIM cards, uh, one with the Tree Mobile and the other one with the Gummo. It's the, like an Aircom rebranded, uh, Air rebranded uh, uh, network. I'd just like to show you how to do uh, the configuration of the 4G. It's really straightforward. You just put the card um, at the back of the, uh, on the tray, uh, slide in, and you just need to change a few settings. It depends on who is your internet provider. Um, like I said, it's the 4G, so you can put it anywhere. Uh, you don't need to rely on the broadband that is on site. You can use it as a backup broadband if you like, so you can set up your um, Ethernet connection to use the local broadband. But in the case, if that broadband goes off, uh, you can use it will switch to your 4G. So this is the kind of um, cool feature as well. Um, as well as you can just have it on a standalone, just put it in the attic. You don't need to run an extension lead from the main broadband from the modem itself. Don't use the power plugs or anything like that. It will be always connected to your uh, broadband independent. So uh, the only way you will be able to see it, um, it will be via the HIC Connect app, via the cloud, or if you connect your ethernet port at the back, um, if you need to do it like a maintenance or so. Uh, so now I'd just like to show you how to change those settings, how, what you, what new you have in the recorder. So there we are. Um, this is our recorder. I will show you the exact model number. Uh, you can take a note of that as well. So it's a DS-7604NI-K1. 4P for four PoE ports at the back and the 4G because it's the 4G module. Um, so uh, this is the firmer. Uh, currently it's the still uh, GUI tree on this recorder. Um, I hope that will be that will be changed soon. And uh, the recorder hasn't been officially released yet, but we're gonna have it in stock now and um, very soon. So if you if you're just gonna go, um, I found a few new settings actually in the in the recorder. Uh, once we have in the time settings, you can see I can sync the time with the Hit Connect server even here. Um, I can change the time to whatever I want. Uh, in this uh, entry level recorder, you have the mirror image. So you have the VGA and HDMI and the high end, you have the independent outputs. Um, like the camera management, you have, you have, I have three cameras connected at the moment from my local network. Uh, you can enable PoE ports just like on the ordinary recorder and beyond um, these days. So if you go to the network settings, like you see here, this is my network, local network setting. Uh, so I delete the default getaway. So I'm not, I want to make sure that my recorder is not connecting with the internet via my network. Uh, it will be just connecting via the 4G. Um, so in this case, what I need to do is just gonna need to go to wireless dial. And on that page, you, you just need to enable the dialing 4G network and you can pick it up the DNS settings automatically. Um, like you see here, I already registered with the IP address. It's literally took me like five minutes to, to activate that card. Um, you just need to be careful, uh, a tip for you. 
if you get like a, for example the gomo card make sure you um you turn off you disable the, the 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 pin number authentication so what i've done myself first i just put that card in my phone and i disable the pin authentication and then plug it in back to the npr uh, like you see here, that's the gateway. So once I, I, I enter my um, SIM card, I go to that page. Obviously, it won't connect straight away. I will need to change the dial parameters. And in this case, I have my access number. This is like a common access number for the mobile uh, in broadband. Uh, like I said, it's the Air, basically, a uh, SIM card. So they're using the Meteor uh, network. So this is my APN um, setting. And that's all I need and just save those settings and, and that's pretty much it. You can choose when recorder will be using the SIM card if you like. So you can schedule uh, at what time of the day or, or the week it will connect to the internet. Um, so if you're at home, there's no need to connect. You can just connect with your local network. Uh, but when you're away, you can just connect more, you know, via, the, via the hit connect. Uh, keep alive function uh, it would just test the communication with an outside world so you can see there's a um, hick vision sorry the um, uh, google dns uh, server that will ping every five minutes just to make sure it's alive uh, another cool feature is the message setting so in a case if you have the intrusion detection line cross and uh, alarm input used on the recorder you can send um, a text message so you can just enable the text message, click the plus button and fill up the information you see here. You can put your phone number and, and, and the nickname basically. So once you have that, it will send information to, to the person that is on the list. Not always you have um, the internet connection on your phone. So if you like to be notified uh, by the recorder in the case of the alarm or intrusion detection, line crossing, you can uh, trigger the uh, text message, just like an alarm setting, like a, for example, the HKC uh, panel, instead of you know, sending the data, it can text you. So the same thing, the same functionality, you have it here as well. So you can send a text with intrusion detection. Obviously there will be no picture attached to it. There'll be no video, but at least you have the notification. So if in the, in the bad coverage, that will actually might save you um, some some efforts there to to actually get to the side. But anyway, you always get the notified if if you need. Uh, the other thing you have there it's a data monitoring. Very cool thing. In a case if you have the bandwidth allowance for your um, for the plan for the SIM card, you can just uh, enable the the monitoring usage and you can block the usage in the case if you um, use all the thresholds. So in in your data settings. You can see you can change on what level is gonna um, stop uh, connecting to the internet or it's gonna send an alarm only uh, like an alert so if you close to the bandwidth that um, it's nearly there it's nearly gone you can send an email you can send a text audible warning and in this case I have 80 percent and you can change a five gigs or 80 gigs like I know the gamma has like 80 gigabytes uh, of the bandwidth alone so that's good enough for like a small recorder you know if you're not continuously watching your cameras no that that would be grand um like you see here you can just put the limitation and that will show you how much you actually use so far so like you see here i only had it for the last few days and just looking at those cameras every so often and i have only 0 0.6 of uh, percentage of of my data allowance um really cool feature and if you have like a um, 4G modem and with the SIM card, um, you don't have the control really of how much you know how much bandwidth you're going to use. So you can just enter that here. You can limit it from the recorder actually itself. Uh, in advanced settings, once the hit connect, uh, I mean sorry, if the 4G it's connected, uh, we have the hit connect. So you have the hit connect just enabled, just like on the ordinary recorder. You don't need to do anything else um, than you would do on any other machine that you've done already, you installed already. Once the hit connect, I'm sorry, once the 4G is connected, you just need to enable the hit connect, enter verification code, and save your settings. Then it's a straight way to connect on your phone. So on your phone, you just go to your hit connect, scan a QR code, enter verification code, and that's it. You're done. 
and the recorder will connect automatically. Like I said, you can schedule the connection and when it's in use. In the case, if you like to use the local broadband, you just need to have the gateway or the DHCP enabled here and that will pick it up all the network settings, local network settings. But in, if, if, if there will be a, a for some case, uh, the connection will be lost. There will be no internet connection on site and you can use that 4G as a backup. So like you see here, it's really, really a cool feature to have. Or you can just install the recorder anywhere. You just, the only thing you need to be worried about is the coverage. Like I said, it's the, 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 the depends on the SIM card you have there, what kind of uh, coverage this mobile provider, mobile provider would have. Uh, it might be, might, might vary. So uh, like uh, you can't really check the speed as much. Uh, but I, the only way I, I managed to check the speed was looking at how quick my camera comes up on the phone uh, and there instantly comes up on the phone. No, no problem whatsoever. Like in, I'm in a good coverage um, so maybe that's why but um, I would say if you're in the rural areas and um, farther away from the city center uh, it might be a bit difficult to get the decent um, mobile coverage. The best way of doing it is just check on your phone. Uh, if you have like, you know, two different phones or phone with two SIM cards in it, you can check what is the coverage on each one of them. And it, then you can just choose which one is suitable for you. This unit on its own, you can get it on the pole. The only thing you need to do is make sure there's a power. Uh, all the cameras power up from the PoE switch at the back, uh, plug and play or manually connect it if you like from the local network. Very straightforward. And um, the only difference you see here, it's a 4G, which is awesome. Um, I always had those queries, like if the Hikvision recorder can uh, take the, 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 you know, the Wi-Fi dongle, the 3G, 4G dongle, the, uh, the, uh, the answer was always no. But now it's going to change because you don't need a dongle. You only need the SIM card to plug it in at the back of the recorder. And that's pretty much it, all you need. So um, most of you, I would say, will appreciate this, this, this type of the NVR for a household, for a countryside or so. Um, I wouldn't say it's an enterprise unit. It will take eight, up to eight megapixel cameras though and six terabytes uh, hard drive. So if you, if you need it, like lots of storage and um, much more storage obviously will be available in um, eight and 16 channels recorder. So uh, that's an advantage there. But then if you have more cameras, you need to consider the, the bandwidth allowance and maybe just pick the SIM card that will allow you, allow you to, to, to use more bandwidth. Uh, like I said, I just test this one here and it's, it's perfectly fine for like three, four cameras on one unit. Uh, you shouldn't, be, uh, shouldn't reach that allowance. Um, but some of the uh, mobile providers wouldn't even have any bandwidth or they have this fair use. So they're gonna slow down your speed eventually if you're gonna use more than you're supposed to. Um, so I would say this is pretty much it. Um, I'm just gonna show you one more thing here in event setting just in case. Um, like for example, the smart event, you have the intrusion detection and in intrusion detection, I just like to show you where is that um, linkage action. So in the linkage action, you have the send text, send SMS. So it will send the text with the information about the camera. So there will be a name of the camera and the time frame. So there will be just the timestamp and date. That's all the information you're gonna get via the text. Um, but if you connect it with the Hit Connect with your broadband uh, on your phone, then you're just gonna get all push notifications just like you used to with a uh, regular, regular uh, recorder. So uh, this is kind of a backup, I would say. Uh, just in case if yeah, you're not in the coverage with your own phone, uh, your end user is not in the coverage. So um, it's always, they're always gonna be, be, be notified by, you know, by the recorder what is going on. So um, if you have any questions, queries on the price, you're always welcome to uh, contact your sales manager, our sales department. Uh, if you have any queries regarding a technical, um, you just call our technical department or give us a, uh, send us an email. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, see you next time. See you ne next Wednesday. And um, I'll have something new there as well. Um, totally different. You haven't seen it before. And can't wait for that one as well. So take care, guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. And thank you.
Bye. 